Hey devs, welcome to the third part of our platform game series. So, um, if you're just joining the series, I would advise you check out the previous tutorials. Um, the previous part of the tutorials, a link would be in the description um, below. Okay, so, now in this part of the series, we'll be adding in our players, health. Um, okay, so now, actually I've built some part of the um, stage. So we have this, this, is what it looks like. So just go through, preview this to show you guys what it looks like but before we do that I'm going to increase our players jump um, um, speed so let's go open our player and behavior right here so jump speed I'll set that to a thousand that's um too much but we can use that apply and let's preview this Okay, to those of you joining, um, sorry, to those of you who were in the last part of the series, this is exactly where we stopped, sorry about that, we'll be fixing that, um, real soon. Okay, so this is what the stage looks like now. Okay, we have this, and, um, here we go. Okay, um, we have this right here, and, okay. There we go. Right here, same. Turn on fall. Okay, and we have this spot right here, and let's go. Let's climb up, and there we go. So this would be the end of our stage right here. We put up something to teleport our player to the second. Um, stage okay so let's get to the point of this video but before that let's fix our enemies moving enemy 3 and to fix that um, that's pretty simple all we have to do let's go to our enemies um, external event right here external event open that and right here so activate behavior right click on this copy and paste and let's deactivate the behavior of enemy um, 3 there we go okay that should work now okay so let's begin with our players health so first of all let's add in the animations of our player the health animations and to do that you can click on the add new objects and sprites and here we go add an animation and add okay so here we have this we have our um the empty health we have this half health and we have the full health so let's pull this in first let's go with the empty health there we go Add an animation, add. Okay, once again, let's select this, the half, and add an animation, add. Okay, then let's select this right here. Okay, so object name, life. This would be our life um, on the score one. This would be the first life, so apply this and let's pull this into the scene. Okay, we can position this right here. There we go. Okay, so let's duplicate this, duplicate and name this life 2. Once again, let's duplicate this and name this life 3. So this, our player would have 3 lives. Okay, so let's pull this and pull this into the scene. So left life 1. Okay, so let's move this in, life 1, 2 and 3. So let's move this in. Um, okay, 1, 2, 3. Okay, there we go. And once again. Okay, so we have this place here. Now you can see the animation um, 3, which is the animation 2, sorry, which is a full animation. By selecting this, you can hold down shift, select multiple objects, and animation 2. So there we go, this is what it would look like here. So let's switch that back to um, animation 0. There we go. So let's preview this. Okay, so there we go now. As you can see, the um, health is not on um, the screen layer. So to do that, you can close that and you can come to your layers right here. Um, for those of you who are just joining the series, um, you can bring out, you can pull out your layer by clicking on this right here, the open the layers editor. So you can click that and this would pop out. Okay, so there we go. Now you can create a new layer. Um, right now, here, right here, I have a layer GUI, so you can create a new layer. Add a layer and name yours GUI, or you can also name yours UI, so that would work. 
okay for this i'll delete this and let's go with the gui okay so gui now let's select this like one two and three and layer and let's place this on the gui layer let's preview this And here we go. Now, as you can see, it's on the screen now. Okay, so that's good. Um, okay, so let's go to our events now. Um, close this and let's go to our events. New some events. Okay, so right here, let's add a new group. And let's pull this downwards right here. Let's add an action. Let's add a group name and I'll name this um, health. There we go. This would be our place health. So um new scene there we go sorry about that okay so now um let's preview this sorry about this i just want to show you guys something okay before we fill in the events for our players health um sorry about that i moved that out of the layer would we'll fix that real quick so before we do that as you can see once our enemies in collision with this we want our player to um we want to flash our player so to do that there is an extension which lets you do that easily so to do that you would have to install the extension you can um install extensions by clicking on the projects manager right here functions and behaviors and search for new extension so the extension name would be flash there we go so this and install in projects okay so let's close this now we have this install this is a behavior so we would need to select our player and behaviors and give this to our um add a behavior to the object scroll to the bottom here we go so flash um blink select that and here we go so right here you can see half period time during which the object is invisible so i think i'll set this to 0 0.2 that's the our period which our player would be invisible while blinking okay apply that now let's go to our events and right here let's add names events okay so let's um add a condition and collision here we go sorry about this i won't use the new the old events editor for those of you who are new um file so preferences i'll switch back to the old events editor sorry the new events editor there we go so close this and let's add an action a condition Okay, so first of all, we need to select player and then collision. So once our player is in collision with the group enemies, okay, players in collision with this, add um, a subcondition right here and add a condition and player is falling. There we go, player is falling. There we go, now add an action which would flash. So now, sorry about that player and flash there we go so flash blink this would flash our player now this is a duration um of the blink and i'll set this to two seconds that's how long our player would blink once in collision with the enemy so let's preview this about that okay so to fix that um here we go Okay, so play is falling. We need to invert this and preview. Okay, so this should. There we go. So as you can see, our play is flashing once in collision with the enemy. Okay, so once again, let's go back to a new scene and let's um, place this back on the GUI layer. Layer GUI. So there we go. And um, our player behaviors once again. Sorry. The jump speed back to um 600 apply okay so there we go now it works perfectly as you can see our player blinks once in collision with the enemy now to, um for our health to work we'd have to use scene variables so use an event and right here add an empty event let's pull this to the top and add a condition so at the beginning of the scene okay add um an action scene variable value of a scene variable variable life there we go so that's the variable sign set to value um seven so we'll be using this because every um life would have um well they all have two so this is actually um two bars and two and 
um, two right here. So we use an event. So that's why we're using seven. So let's add an, a new um, empty event and add a condition. Okay, so scene variable. Value for scene variable, variable life sign equal to value one. So once a life is set to one, add an action. And um, okay, before we do this, I think we should um, create every scene variable we need. So let's create empty events and let's copy this. So copy this scene variable once life is set to one. Paste this once the life is set to um, two. Paste this in an empty event, separate empty events. Um, once it's set to three and uh, paste once it's set to four and um, let's paste this once it's set to five and um, Right here paste this once it's set to six. Sorry about that. There we go. So we have this now Okay, so once our scene variable um, is set to six, let's add an action. Let's set the animation of our life um, one animation there we go, so change the animation of our life one, sign set to value um, 2. As you can see, the system we're using here is, um, there we go, now life one, so we have this as our animation 2, which is a full life. So once the scene variable, once this is set to 6, we want the animation of life to be 2, which is full, of our life one to be 2. So copy and paste once again, uh, the animation of our life 2 would be full, so that would be set to 2 and paste and when the animation of our life 3 this would be set to um, 1 1 is half of the um, the health so copy copy let's select this and copy paste this so sim variable life is set to 5 now here we want our pull this downwards there we go okay so here we want our animation life 3 to be set to 0 so that would be our life they would be empty right here okay so let's copy this copy paste now once it's set to four now our life three set to zero so next up would be our life two so when you set our life two to one which would be half of our life um two there we go so this sorry about that this 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 and copy and paste here we go so life one two three sorry about that okay so here we go life 2 and let's set this to 0 so there we go so now once it's set to 3 our life 2 would be set to 0 so that's there's no life in our um, life 2 and life 3 no bar left in our life 2 and life 3 so once again let's copy this copy and paste this okay so now for our life 1 once it's set to 2 want this to set I um, want to set our life 1 animation to 1 which is half now once the scene variable life is set to 1, right here we can change the scene, so add an action. And um, scene, if you have a game over scene, you can choose this, you can set this right here. So since we don't have a game over scene um, yet, we can set this um, to restart the whole scene. So it will change to the exact same scene, which um, restarts the whole scene. Okay, so that's it. Now, what would change this? Now we need this since uh, at the beginning of the scene it sets the scene variable life to 7. We need to subtract from this 7 every time our player is in collision with the enemy. So let's copy this, come all the way down, player is in collision with enemies, and let's paste this right here. Sorry, and player is not falling. Let's paste this right here, and our sign will open this, and our sign would be set to subtract. Okay, so now we have this. So um, in, in the past, I created tutorials where um, once we do this, now once we preview this, as you can see, once we preview this, um, this would subtract 7 from it like it won't stop. So we need to add a trigger once right here. So we trigger once per um, every time our player is in collision with this and not just at once. So once it's in collision with enemies, trigger once, subtract, um, sorry, we're not subtracting 7, we're subtracting 1 from it. Okay, so this is subtract 1, and once it sets to 7, it's full life, so we'll subtract 1 and 1 and 1. Okay, so let's preview this. So there we go, sorry about that. Let's fix this. Okay, as you can see, we um, previously we had this um, whereby the health actually empty. Now, there are two ways to fix this. 
First, you can choose to create a scene variable life and here we go, copy, paste life. Once life is set to 7, change the animation, copy this, copy and paste and set this to 2. So this is a way. Um, let's preview this. So here we go, as you can see, it's um, full, once we're in collision, subtract 1. So that's a way to solve this, and another way to solve this, I'm going to toggle disable this. Once you disable something, it is not, I won't be included in the game when rendering the game. So this is disabled, you can undisable it by clicking on this again, there we go, and disable. So there we go. Okay, so let's go to our new scene, and right here, so there are two ways. The second way is to change the animation to 1, sorry, to 2 which is a full health, so let's preview this we have this, as you can see, it works the same way so, there we go, subtract one, our player flashes there we go, once again as you can see, the subtract again, and there we go here, and here, so it restarts the whole scene so there we go, that's how to add in our, the player's health in your um, game okay so that's it um okay see you guys in the next part of the series thanks for